We know the president has friends in Hollywood, many friends. After all, he spent his last day on vacation playing golf with Seinfeld creator Larry David. But it looks like some of the residents, presidents, rather, biggest celebrity fans are turning against him all of a sudden. Listen to this. Obama is a snake. He's a snake. And we have to turn on him. He broke up with me. He's got some, some explaining to do, particularly for a constitutional law professor. So is Hollywood breaking up with Obama? Here with his thoughts is author of Hollywood Hypocrites, the devastating truth about Obama's biggest backers, Jason Matera. Jason, um, to what extent is this a widespread feeling now in Hollywood, do you think, that the president has fallen short of expectations? Uh, good morning, Tucker. I think there are only a few celebrity deflections, and we heard them right there with Oliver Stone and Matt Damon. The interesting thing is they're criticizing Barack Obama because they don't think he's liberal enough. And in fact, if we put these comments in perspective, both Stone and Damon were unenthusiastic about Barack Obama in 2012, particularly because they didn't think he did enough to dismantle President George W. Bush's anti-terror policies. And as we now know, uh, rather than dismantle them, he's amplified them, especially with the NSA. So that's why Stone comes out and says he's a snake, and Damon says, oh, Barack Obama broke up with me. But by and large, Obama's celebrity army still remains uh, very strongly in support of him. But these are, these are two colonels anyway, at least in this, in this army. Any chance um, that they'll move to the other side, that this will start a, a, a rethinking <laughs> of their worldview? No, you're laughing, no. <laughs> no, because, again, they're criticizing Barack Obama because he's not progressive enough for their standards. So I don't think they're going to magically now fall in love with Republican candidates come 2016. Right. If anything, they'll look for someone who's even more hard left than Barack Obama. So a lot of conservatives were heartened by remarks that Ashton Kutcher made at the Teen Choice Awards. I myself missed it. Uh, but listen, listen to what he said. <laughs> When I was 13, I had my first job with my dad carrying shingles up to the roof. And then I got a job washing dishes at a restaurant. I've never had a job in my life that I was better than. I was always just lucky to have a job. And every job I had was a stepping stone to my next job. And I never quit my job until I had my next job. And so opportunities look a lot like work. Boy, that sounds, but it doesn't sound too liberal to me. No, not at all. But how sad is it that it's big and newsworthy when a celebrity comes out and says something like, if you want to be successful, go ahead and work hard. I mean, it should be an incontrovertible statement and assumed in our culture. But as you know, we have liberal politicians who are constantly telling us that the system is keeping us down. And that's why we need high taxes and more regulations and even racial preferences to remedy these injustices. But even Ashton Kutcher, while it, it seemed like a very conservative message filled with personal responsibility to these teenagers, and we welcome it, here's a man who enthusiastically supported Obama in 2008, 2012. And he's even gone on record saying that Washington Washington, D.C. is way too bureaucratic. Um, they have too many rules and regulations, and they have no way of evaluating success. Uh, so here's a man who is schizophrenic in his viewpoints because he says one thing that we can, by and large, agree with, and then he goes and supports a man who's ramped up the regulatory state here in America. He may come around in the end, just my guess. Jason Matera, thanks for joining I, us this I morning. I hope so. Yep. Thank you, Tucker.